What has working in the restaurant business taught you about the power of preparation? The same thing that the, that the Boy Scouts taught me, always be prepared, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, and also that you, can't, you can never be prepared for everything. Um, you can try your best. I mean, whether you're, you're, in the, you're in the kitchen and everything's clean and you have all of your mise en place and, you know, in place, and, uh, which is literally what it means, uh, and you have everything ready to go, anything could go wrong at any minute and you have to know how to be able to continue and not go down in flames no matter you know no matter what's going on you know no matter like you know someone fell down the stairs and is being carted out of the door by by you know emergency medical technicians and you still have you know there are still people in the restaurant you still have to figure out a way to make it work so you can be you can you can be as prepared as possible uh -huh. but you're never going to be prepared for everything you can only be prepared to try and do as best you can given the set of circumstances you're in. And sometimes, you know, you're not throwing a curveball and, you know, everything goes really smoothly, but uh -huh. it's going to happen every now and again that something you never could have prepared for and you never could have anticipated is going to come your way and you're just going to have to suck it up and deal with it. And hopefully, you know, the more times that you do that, you become better at it and better equipped to react to oftentimes preposterous situations. And it hurts and it's, you know, it's painful yeah. <laughs> and uncomfortable. But, you know, when you come out on the end of the, you know, on the other side at the end of the day, you'll, of course, look back on it and say, well, I can't believe I got through that.